This video demonstrates how to prepare and restore a class 5 cavity on an upper primary canine. You will need a round or pear-shaped friction grip diamond burr, high and slow speed hand pieces, mirror and pro, flat plastic, curing light, dentin conditioner and resin modified glass ironomer cement, and finishing burrs and polishing disc. Here, we will work on tooth 5-3. The shaded area shows the cavity outline. With a round burr, create a crescent or semicircle shape following the gingival contour of the tooth. Extend mesial and distally to include the caries as needed. Prepare to a uniform axial depth following the convexity of the surface that you are working on, in this case, the buccal surface. Be mindful not to cause any iatrogenic damage to the gingiva or the pulp. In the finished preparation, the EDJ should be cleared of all caries, but affected dentine could be left on the buccal wall to prevent pulpal exposure. These can be verified by using a number 9 probe. The EDJ should feel hard to probing, and the buccal wall might feel leathery to gentle probing if affected dentine is left. For the restoration, we've chosen to use a light cure resin modified glass ironomer cement, which is self adhesive and hydrophilic with excellent aesthetics and polishability, making it a great choice for class 5 and deciduous dentition. Apply dentin conditioner for 10 seconds to remove the smear layer and seal the dentinal tubules. Rinse and gently dry. Do not desiccate. Dispense RMGIC directly into the cavity. Compact it using a flat plastic while also beginning to shape it to match the convexity of the tooth. Leaning part of the instrument on the GIC and part on the natural tooth structure. Add additional GIC as needed and continue to shape the material. The closer you can get during this stage, the less contouring you'll need to do later. Once you're happy with the contour, cure for 20 seconds. Check for any material deficiency with a number 9 probe before moving on to the next step. Check for any flashes with a probe and smooth the margins with polishing disc starting from coarse to fine. You may need to hold the soft tissue away while performing this step. Finally, verify smoothness with a probe.